I would like to begin by wishing everyone a happy new year. May it be better than the last couple of years that we've been through. At our meeting on November 21st, 2021, the board reviewed the current information presented by the duty of care team and made the decision to reopen the church for in-person worship services on January 9th, 2022. It seemed like the Delta variant of concern was running its course. Hospital admissions were down, ICU admissions were down to a manageable level, and there were fewer deaths because of the variant. The newest variant of concern, Omicron, has presented us with new information. Transmi transmissibility is extremely high, and even those fully vaccinated individuals are becoming infected with this latest mutation. It seems the risk of severe outcomes with this variant of concern is much lower than with the Delta variant, which is good to hear. What causes the greatest concern among the healthcare professionals and those in government is the sheer numbers of infections. Even a very small percentage of severe outcomes could put the same kind of pressure on the healthcare system as previous variants have done. Based on the information now available to us, the board has made the decision to delay to a later date reopening for in-person worship services. Hopefully the Omicron virus will quickly run its course with little severe consequences and we can get on with living our lives with fewer restrictions. I recognize this is a great disappointment. I believe we are gradually reaching an end to the consequences of the virus, but this is not the time to stop taking precautions. To quote from Fearless Motivations, The Journey, we didn't come this far only get this far. We will get there sooner than later if we stay the course and work together. I look forward to seeing people in person again sooner than later. <laughs>